some international artists have been holding live street art performances as part of a two-week exhibition. It's all about creativity and out-of-the-box thinking and judging by the response, they're making an impression. Emily Sue reports. Think about graffiti and most people associate it with vandalism. But this is an attempt to promote an art form that is gaining worldwide popularity. Here at the Mid-Levels Escalator, international artists show their stuff as part of a two-week street art thievery event. The aim is to promote street art while engaging the public, and passers-by seem to be getting into the swing of it. Well, I think it's a great time, it's a good event, and they're great artists. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's really cool that artists are coming to... Um, work in the mid-levels and it really brings a lot of vibrancy to the area. Organizers say street art in Hong Kong is in its infancy, but it's catching on. In Hong Kong, I think the street art development or the community is, is, is small, but it's, I think it's growing. If you go downtown to um, uh, central, you just can find street art in, in the kind of the back alley, so it's not very visible. You have to really search for them. They want to lose the stigma associated with graffiti. And do live performances which make it more interactive and help people to better understand street art and art generally speaking. Awesome. After finishing their masterpieces, artists mingle with spectators while waiting for the paint to dry. This is art you can enjoy and take home, in a way. The makeshift walls used as canvases are broken into pieces, which are given away to spectators as souvenirs. The feedback seems encouraging. There's, there's a lot of it and it seems to be a, a good thing. I think street art anyway is a good thing, right? I absolutely love it. It's astonishing to find something like this, such an interesting performance in Hong Kong. It's absolutely unique. Painting graffiti on public property is illegal, so the artists are putting up their own walls. But even that is met with suspicion by authorities, reflecting the obstacles that artists face. It's a private wall, but still people complain and, and the police show up. I would not just say, suggest that people do this on public walls. This is kind of a, a crime, but if it's a private wall, it's, it's fine. The two-week event ends tonight, but you can expect more of these exhibitions in the days to come. Emily Sue, ATV News. Time now for sports with Britain Clinic. What's been happening in tennis? Well, Roger Federer advanced in Basel, but first, Chinese star Lina is a step closer to the WTA Championship's crown after defeating world number two Victoria Azarenka.